I have an external hard drive that frequently makes an awful noise. This is what it sounds like when the noise changes from normal, which is a little louder than I'd like, but I can live with it, to this thing is about to explode. I believe the noise is caused by this small fan in the rear of the device, rather than a hard drive. I'm hoping that I can replace the fan and solve the problem. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Need to get a good look at this fan. And who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and find something loose that I can tighten up and solve the problem. I make videos about solving problems that I encounter and passing what I learn on to you. Some problems are fun, some are a little more practical. Today's is a real life practical problem. My wife makes online training videos about investing and we store everything on this hard drive. So if this doesn't work, I'm in the doghouse. This happens to be a 12 terabit G Technology GRAD Thunderbolt 3 storage drive. Inside of it, it has two six terabit hard drives and the first thing we'll do to take it apart is to remove these drives. Alright, to get this apart, there's a little sticker here that says the warranty is void if removed. I'm okay with that. I think this is out of warranty. That reveals one of the three screws that need to be removed to get this thing apart. The other two are underneath these little rubber pads that are on the front of the device. Uh, so we need to pop those off. So then, remove these three screws. Now, this just slides apart like so. This is what we have inside. This is the fan. And see that's in here. Looks like it should be pretty easy to get out. So we'll take all these screws out. There's four screws that hold this. All right, so now we have the fan. Okay, so what are the specs on this fan? It's a 12 volt DC and the mounting holes appear to be 38 millimeters apart. That's our fan. So let's see if we can find a suitable replacement. From a look on the internet, there certainly seem to be plenty of options. For me, there are four criteria. It needs to be 12 volts. I need 38 millimeter mounting holes, which equates to a 40 millimeter fan. I'm concerned with how quiet it is. And of course, I'm concerned with how much it costs. So how quiet is quiet? Noise is usually measured in decibels. Uh, there's all kinds of audio technical babble out there on measuring sound. Uh, but a good point of reference is a human voice. Our normal conversational volume is around 60 decibels. A whisper is around 25. So for a fan, we certainly want a noise level that's below 25. So I'm going to look around and see what I can find. The quiet fans that I'm finding have advertised noise levels that range from 17.9 decibels to 21. The prices range from $6 to $19. The fan I like is a Noctua NF-A4X10. Noctua has a good reputation for making quality fans, so this is really no surprise. One feature I really like is the integrated anti-vibration pads. They're in each corner on both sides. This fan also comes with an extensive kit, especially for the price. It has additional anti-vibration mounts, a 3 to 2 pin adapter, an extension cable, screws and other electrical connection hardware. It's $13.95 on Amazon. This fan may be better than I really need, but for a couple bucks more, I'll go for the best. You pay more for that, Cotton. And I'm very curious to see how quiet it really is. 
I'm going to order it. Stay with me. The fan has arrived. Let's take a look. All right, we have the fan itself. So let's see what we have. Okay. This is a 12 volt fan. Looks like it will all line up there. So mechanically we should be good. It's 12 volts. Electrically we should be good. As long as the connectors work. All right, what do we have here? This is a low noise adapter. What this will do is change the fan RPM from 4,500 to 3,700 RPM, which will supposed to quiet it down a little bit, probably at the expense of some cooling, but uh, this is an extension cable. I shouldn't need that. Uh, this is a three pin to two pin adapter. Uh, I will need that uh, because the fan is comes with a three pin connection and the old connection is two pins. I need to put the low noise adapter on first. Uh, we will do that. And then we will hook in the three pin to two pin adapter. We wind up with kind of a long cable there, but that's not a problem. All right, another thing that's in this box, which we won't need, but they're uh, silicon anti-vibration mounts. Uh, what they do is actually, when you mount the fan, you put those through the holes and then attach this to the case and that actually allows it to float freely. If you've got a lot of vibration, that probably helps. Uh, I don't, I'm not gonna use them. There's not a tremendous amount of vibration in this. Uh, and for storage devices, they recommend that you just use the existing screws. What the fan does have is anti-vibration pads. These are these little darker brown uh, pads you see. Uh, they're on both sides of the fan. Uh, so those should, should be adequate. Uh, there's some other screws in here, which I won't need. And then there's some other pins if you need to adapt this to a different type of connector, which... I don't think I will have to do. This is a very well thought out and comprehensive kit, especially for $13. But is it quiet? So all right, let's, uh, let's put it in. All right, first let's just check the connection. This is where it was. Oh, I do need to check one thing, so I want to make sure I get the polarity right. All right, so this fan was in like this, so the red wire is in that direction. And in this, I can see the red wire. It's on that side, so it wants to go this way. Connector is a little different, but it should work fine. So that's in there. What I'm going to do temporarily is disconnect this, just to make this a little easier to put in. All right, so the fan on uh, one of these sides here actually shows a direction of flow. It's probably very difficult to see in the camera because it's quite small, but it shows an arrow going this way, which is the motion of air, and then actually there's another arrow points this way, which is, I'm sure, the rotation of the fan. So we can put this in kind of any way we want. I'm going to pick this orientation. All right, so let's stick this back together. All right, okay, that's in there. Should be sufficiently tight. There's no wiggle there. Just needs to connect like that. Okay, so that is connected. Gonna put that under there. All right, so that all will stay up, so it won't touch the circuit board. So uh, that is good. All right, now we'll put it back in the box. So we need to align it like this. So that should be good. Next, we will install the drives.
If you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. All right, so should be good for the moment of truth. Let's fire it up. All right, I can hear the fan. Seems to be working. Didn't explode, that's always a good sign. Uh, seems to be quite quiet. Uh, I'm not hearing any of the strange noise we heard before. So hopefully this is a fix. Uh, but next, uh, let's go hook it up to the computer, make sure that works. To test this, I've used the same setup I used when initially recording the awful noise just before the explosion. To record the sound, I'm using a lavalier microphone and a Zoom H1 recorder. This is the before sound with the old fan. This is the after sound with an Arctura NF-A4 X10 fan. The microphone right in front of the fan is picking up a very slight noise. Here's a storage drive sitting happily on the little shelf I built for it. It's working perfectly. Sitting here, I cannot hear the fan above the normal low noise of the hard drive spinning. There's no noticeable fan noise. For $13.95, I'm saved from the doghouse. Now that I have some expertise in case fans and I'm thirsty, there's another cooling problem that I can solve that involves beverages. I'll make a video. If you'd like to know when it drops, please subscribe. If you have a similar piece of electronic equipment that has a noisy fan or just want a better, quieter fan, there's a link below for the fan I used. Please give this video a like and consider subscribing. Your comments are welcome. Thanks for watching.